Welcome to episode 186 of the Radio Control Show, sponsored by amyandhappies.com, your one-stop RC hobby store. We all know that drones, UAVs, and miniature flying vehicles are gaining in popularity. In their continued evolution, these amazing flying robots are also becoming smaller and smaller. The newest micro UAV can fly and hover using a four-wing insect-inspired design. The TechJet Dragonfly is only six inches long, weighs around 25 grams, and can remain airborne for about 10 minutes. Check out this video courtesy of Georgia Tech. The TechJet Dragonfly is a lightweight robotic insect that collects and relays information while flying like a bird or hovering like an insect. Weighing in at less than one ounce, approximately the weight of a AA battery, the Dragonfly is the latest in ultra micro avionics with stereoscopic vision, flight control systems, and a camera ready operating system. This means you can do amazing aerial photography, spy on people, secure your house, or use it as the next gen gaming platform. What you have is the world's first aerial photography tool that's efficient, user-friendly, and you can take it in your pocket wherever you go. We're out here at East Rock Park in New Haven, Connecticut, checking out the new Axial SCX-10 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Rubicon. It may be a mouthful to say, but as you can see, it's a pretty awesome looking truck. This really cool looking body behind me is sitting on top of the proven SCX-10 platform. And what Axial has done is worked with Jeep to get a fully licensed scale looking body. They've also worked with Maxxis for scale looking tires and wheels, Spider for scale bumper with the tow hooks on the front, as well as Willwood and a whole bunch of other full size sponsors. Anybody that's into full size off roading knows that the JK is the big thing on the scene these days, and now it's come to RC. One of my favorite features on this rig is the new scale looking spare tire rack out back. If you undo a few body clips, it swings out just like on the full size JK chassis. Let's check it out on the trail. Hey, don't miss out on AirAgeStore.com's biggest sale of the year. Starting November 24th, everything store-wide is 30% off. From instructional must-have books to back issues and DVDs, there's something for every RCer. Head over to AirAgeStore.com and save big for the holidays. Sale ends December 25th. Go to AirAgeStore.com today. Pistons come in all different sizes and they can be hard to keep straight. Here's a quick tip to keep them organized in your pit box. Every now and then I end up with a few shock shafts that are bent or scratched up. What I do is I hang on to them for just such a problem. I start by sorting out the pistons by size and then I slide each one of the same size onto a shock shaft. Finally I attach a plastic nut to the end to keep them from falling off. You can keep them all in one shock shaft or you can separate them out on the different shafts by size. It's totally up to you, but either way it'll keep the pistons from getting mixed up in your screws in your pit box. In the January issue of Electric Flight, Aerobatics Made Easy columnist John Glazelis illustrated how to perform the tricky hovering square loop maneuver. Let's check in with editor John Reed and take a closer flight line look at this impressive 3D move. Well John, this month we're doing the hovering square loop. Uh, kind of a fun maneuver, can be a little tricky, going to take a specific kind of airplane obviously, a lot of control in a hover. Uh, today we used our DW Foamies uh, Sukhoi, did pretty good, we're flying outside though, so obviously little breezes and stuff it doesn't take too well because it weighs about 8 ounces. So anyways, to enter this uh, maneuver you choose your favorite way to enter uh, into a hover, whether that's a Harrier or a wall or whatever you want. Get it into a hover, get it nice and stabilized. Uh, you add your throttle to climb as high as you want. With, with the foamies, we're able to keep the box fairly small. So you climb up, establish a hover again. Then uh, you got a couple choices. You can use your rudder to bring it across, depending on how much rudder authority your plane has, or if you want to roll into it and harrier across the top of the loop. Go back into a hover, and then the trickiest part of the whole thing, kind of like a rolling circle, the back half is always the hardest, is the backing down. Uh, when you back off the throttle to slide the plane down, you're going to lose a lot of aileron authority, and the plane's going to want a torque roll. 
Uh, so being comfortable with the torque roll is fairly important. Uh, if not, you can kind of blip the throttle as it's backing down to keep the, the ailerons effective, back it back down to the original altitude. Obviously practice it high, you know, practice at 100 feet and get comfortable with it and then bring it down, down close to the runway and show off a little bit. There you go, there you go. But anyway, practice this maneuver, enjoy this maneuver, watch the video, uh, watch it over and over, and hopefully uh, you can get down pat. It will take some practice. I know I'm not even close to, to doing it yet, but enjoy it. We will talk to you soon. Thunderpower's LipoSafe is made of high-tech, flame-resistant material to help keep you safe when charging lithium batteries. Simply place the pack inside the safe when charging, run the wires out of the top of the bag and close it with the industrial Velcro flap. Not only does the LiPo Safe provide a high level of safety when charging, it also makes a great place to store your packs when you're not using them. It's that time of year again, and come Cyber Monday, AirHStore.com is the place to get unreal savings of 50% off on all things digital. From digital books, subscriptions, and memberships, there's no way you'll be able to avoid these deals of the year. Hey, all you RC guys out there, don't forget to give us a shot. Diecast X, come and take a look. DCX TV Live. We're going to have some of the coolest models out there. No, they don't go anywhere, but sometimes quiet time is good time. Don't forget, stop by every other Tuesday right on DCXMag.com. Hope to see you there. Head to your local hobby shop or newsstand for the January issues of Radio Control Car Action and Model Airplane News. Or get it now on AirStore.com, iTunes, or BarnesandNoble.com. Thanks again for joining us on the Radio Control Show, and we'll see you next time.